Level 2, um, Electricity, 2014, question 1. Uh, Millikan's oil drop, classic one. Um, we're given a bunch of uh, data there, charge an electron, massive electron, charge and a proton, massive a proton. Um, Robert Millikan performed an experiment to determine the size of the charge. Hopefully you're familiar with this. Uh, something that should be covered in your class. Um, basically, had an um, electric field to provide an upward force force due to the electric field, and a downward um, force due to gravity, trying to balance the two by changing the electric field strength and therefore the force applied upwards. Um, Janet is doing a similar experiment and then you've got the charge of the oil drop um, given in there. So there's the oil drop that's presumably got a force due to gravity and upwards has the suspended between the plates by the um, electric field. An electric field has an electric field strength, E, of uh, 610 newtons per coulomb. Okay, A is name the forces including directions acting on all drop while it's suspended between the plates. So you've got um, downward force due to gravity, we've talked about that. Upward force due to the electric field. B, calculate the mass of the oil drop. Use um, G equals 9.8 newtons per kilogram and F equals mg. So the idea is we've got a force due to the electric field, which should be equal and opposite to the force due to gravity. We're going to put in <coughs> excuse me, those uh, values, which is going to be F um, for E is going to be the um, uh, electric field strength times by the size of the charge, um, Q, and then Fg is going to be the mass of the order times by uh, gravity. So. Um, if we just cruise on up, we've got the electric field strength given to us there. Um, we've got the charge, net charge there. Um, so those two multiplied together are going to give us the force N. You can see by the units that'll work. Then FG, um, we're trying to find the mass of the oil drop. Um, and we know G. So there we go, we can calculate all of that stuff. Um, see, explain what the same charged oil drop would do if the plates were brought closer together. So plates brought closer together. The idea is to explain what's happening um, uh, within the electric field strength formula, which is voltage over distance. Um, and uh, that's, that's this formula. There's a different one, which is a rearrangement of the force equals um, E times Q. Um, and we're assuming the charge on the oil drop remains the same. The voltage across the plates remains the same. So voltage doesn't change. The distance is decreasing. So if you're decreasing the distance, you're increasing the electric field strength. Increasing the electric field strength means um, from F equals EQ, you can use a small Q, I think I used a large Q before, but you're increasing there, the charge stays the same, therefore the force increases. So a greater force is the, uh, due to the electric field, um, which is acting in an upward direction, so you would get upward motion. Okay, and because you would have a net force, this is the explaining part, you'd explain that the um, net force is up, um, therefore it would accelerate upwards initially. D, free electron and a free proton placed in identical electric fields, same electric field strength, for the strength of the electric force on each particle, um, and the acceleration of each particle, and we can neglect gravity and, and use A equals F over M. Give reasons to justify your comparisons. So um, in terms of the strength, um, they'll be exactly the same. And you can look at the formula for the force, um, uh, uh, sorry, the formula is E equals V over, uh, over D. So D doesn't change, V, v doesn't change. Um, so E doesn't change, E is going to be the same. So um, and F equals EQ. So if E is the same, and Q is the same, then F is going to be the same. So remember this is the strength, not the direction. So obviously the direction is going to be opposite. If we then look at the acceleration of each particle, um, we're going to uh, say that if the mass is the same, um, which they're not, <laughs> um, if the mass were the same, the acceleration would be the same. Same, if M, same. But the mass of the proton is much larger than the mass of the electron. Um, <coughs> therefore, acceleration, F over M, 
acceleration will be larger for the smaller mass, which is the mass of the electron. And you can use all of that information there to work it out. And that's all for that question.